brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. One appeal down, one more to go. Former police colonel Mark Charfer celebrates a small victory in his fight to get his job back. In a vote three to one, civil service commissioners ruled in favor of Charferis who appealed his demotion from police colonel to major following an incident in Agate late last year. Majority of the commissioners compelled to vote in favor of Charferis, stating GPD had the burden of proof and failed. Vice Chairwoman Lord is Hongi. This case is really uh, uh, the way it turned out. It's, it's really a sad case. Um, we didn't hear any evidence, um, testimony. All we had was the uh, documents. And so, you know, in the end, there were no testimony, no, no witnesses, and management uh, closed. Close, and that was it. Okay. Um, right now, I feel like my hands are tied. I have no choice but to rule in favor of the employee. As reported, the hearing on the merits of the appeal was cut short. Though the government wished to call Char for his first to testify, CSC protocol requires the employee testify last. To remedy this, the Attorney General's office filed a writ with the Superior Court of Guam to suspend Charforce's case with the CSC. The court denied the writ, which allowed for Thursday's deliberations and vote. Charforce will now receive back pay for the salary difference from colonel to major. According to Guam Federation of Teachers Field Service Representative Robert Koss, Charforce could be reunited with his gun and badge very soon. Koss explaining that the CSC appears to be in violation of the law. With respect to the termination appeal, uh, the employee has a right to a speedy hearing under Public Law 3355, and that time has come and gone. And so we also expect the commission to overturn the dismissal and Looking forward to seeing Mr. Charfers reinstated back to his position as colonel uh, with full back pay. CSC Executive Director Peter Calvo doesn't believe they're in violation of the law, stating they address the cases as they arrive. Should the government appeal the CSC's decision in the demotion case, Calvo says this would result in a stay on the termination appeal. A hearing on the termination is set for August 22nd. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.